Sharmaran is a mythical figure originating from Iranian folklore, but is also a well-known legend in Turkey and other parts of the Middle East. The name Sharmaran comes from the Persian words Shah, meaning king, and Amaran, meaning snakes, so Sharmaran is often referred to as the queen of the snakes. Sharmaran is typically depicted as a half-woman, half-snake creature. She has the upper body of a beautiful woman and the lower body of a serpent. Sharmaran is often portrayed as wise, benevolent, and possessing great knowledge, especially of medicine and healing. In many stories, she is the ruler of all snakes and lives in an underground paradise filled with other serpents. One of the most famous stories involving Sharmaran tells of a young man named Semsab, or sometimes referred to as Tarmasp or Lokman, who discovers Sharmaran's hidden lair. After he encounters her, she befriends him and shares her wisdom and secrets. However, the young man eventually leaves her lair, and Sharmaran warns him not to reveal her existence to anyone. The Sharmaran told him that she had lived for centuries, guarding the secrets of the Marans, a race of mystical beings who dwelled in the hidden realms beneath the earth. She was the queen of this world, a protector of its ancient wisdom and power. Later, the king of the land falls gravely ill, and it is foretold that only the flesh of Sharmaran can cure him. When Semsab's secret is revealed, Sharmaran is captured and killed to save the king. Semsab, racked with guilt and sorrow for betraying the Sharmaran, wandered the land, trying to make amends for his actions. He became a hermit, living in isolation, and devoted the rest of his life to helping those who were suffering from the curse. But no matter how much he tried, he could never undo the damage that had been done. The people of the kingdom, now living in fear and despair, came to believe that the only way to lift the curse was to find the Sharmaran's resting place and make a sacrifice in her honor. But despite their efforts, the Sharmaran's body was never found, and the curse continued to plague the land for generations. However, Sharmaran's death comes with a curse or blessing, sometimes, depending on the version of the story, the king is cured, but Semsab inherits her knowledge and becomes a wise healer or even the legendary figure Lokman Hikim, a great physician in Islamic tradition. Sharmaran symbolizes wisdom, healing, and sometimes sacrifice. The tale of her betrayal and death often reflects themes of trust, loyalty, and the consequences of breaking promises. Sharmaran is also a symbol of the duality of life, combining both human and animal elements, beauty and danger, knowledge and secrecy. The story of Sharmaran is deeply ingrained in the folklore of Turkey and other parts of the Middle East. Images of Sharmaran can be found in traditional art, jewelry, and even tattoos. Her story is often told in various forms, including oral storytelling, literature, and visual arts, continuing to captivate the imagination of many. Sharmaran's legend, like many myths, serves to impart moral lessons and to reflect the cultural values of the societies in which it is told. Sharmaran, she is a mythical figure rooted in folklore and legend. Like many mythical creatures and characters from various cultures, Sharmaran was created as part of storytelling traditions to convey moral lessons, cultural values, and to explain natural phenomena or mysteries of the world. The story of the Sharmaran and Semsa became a legend, passed down through the ages as a cautionary tale about the dangers of greed and betrayal. It is said that the Sharmaran spirit still watches over the hidden realms of the earth, guarding the secrets of her people and waiting for the day when the curse will be lifted. In some versions of the legend, it is believed that the Sharmaran's bloodline continues to this day, with her descendants living in secret among humans. These descendants are said to possess great wisdom and healing powers. If you like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.